Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Avanel for those who are new. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It will mean the world to me. So today I'm coming with a grocery haul. I went to the grocery, well, a little earlier. And this time I went to a different grocery. Now, usually I go to Massey but my sister she was like oh let's go to the grocery and i went to the grocery she usually goes to so the grocery we went to was food basket in Mounto, and i was pleasantly surprised when i went there um the layout of the grocery is really nice all the fresh produce was just so captivating i was like oh my this is so beautiful. They had a chandelier, one huge screen TV. I was like, but what kind of bougie place is this? <laughs> it was so nice upon entry. Usually this stuff would cost me like over a thousand dollars in Massey. And my bill was like almost eight hundred dollars there. I was like, hmm, I like this place. <laughs> Alright, so um, let me show you the stuff that I got and i will pop the prices of all of the items on the screen for you guys okay so let's jump into this haul all right so firstly let me grab the cold stuff i had already put them in the fridge because i had to leave home and come back so let me just show you the cold stuff that i got all right so i got my absolute fave uh the heat and eat chicken breast tenders and this is it here i love these tenders oh so much and i got the heat and eat juicy chicken burgers all right now i also got some shrimp and these were food baskets brand because there's no other brand and they are like fresh shrimp they were in ice and the cost of this was $28 and I was like where do you pay $28 for shrimp so this is the shrimp here so I still have to clean the shrimp and whatnot I absolutely hate cleaning shrimp but for this price <laughs> I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so yeah it's a bit daunting to touch live shrimp well not live but fresh shrimp like that because usually i buy it frozen but the price of this compared to frozen shrimp <laughs> thank you all right so the next item that i got was this huge bag of fries this is marathon frites And this was only was it $28? I'll pop the price on the screen. And I really loved that the ingredients were very minimal. So the ingredients are potatoes, 96%, and sunflower oil, 4%. And that is all. The other fries that I buy, like McCain and the others, a million ingredients and I always wonder why do they need so much ingredients to put in potato to feed them right so I appreciate the freshness organic nature of these fries so yeah I don't eat fries a lot like that like homemade fries like that um, but I'm gonna do it today <laughs> well I have a lot of fries to go around so yeah Okay, so next I got some a bit suspicious looking chicken breast. Um, this is chicken breast chunks and the price is very reasonable. So this is them here. And we were joking about the cut of the chicken breast. Like why is it in squares? Why is it not like a breast shape? And but my sister, I went by my sister earlier and she cooked hers and I don't know but maybe they put it in a mold or something to get the shape but as it thaws it 
isn't compact so I really don't know we thought that it was like a whole breast but I guess that's what they mean by chunks <laughs> it's literally like falling apart when it was so yeah that's what I got all right so the next item in this haul is uh, right in front of me toilet paper and this time I got the snuggle brand um, uh, six pack I don't usually use this brand but one of my fears of shopping in another grocery is not being able to find the brand of stuff that I usually buy and this was the case. So I wasn't able to find any white cloud which I usually like and usually bash. <laughs> but yeah, I ended up going for this one because it wasn't available. Um, what here? All right, and next I got my favorite soap powder the Ariel double powder what's that double powder I never read this before but this is it here I absolutely love the smell of Ariel soap powder okay next I got a bundle of celery I got some tomatoes. I got some ginger. No! <laughs> My banana is squished. Usually I would use this still, but no. This has to throughout got um my preferred flower um this is ibis premium flower grade this is a hair i got a gatorade for days when i um when my thirst is unquenchable because i have days like that and this is in the lemon lime flavor this is my favorite gatorade flavor all right i got some oil this is the big deal brand and this is soya bean oil 900 ml i never saw this brand of oil before but it was very reasonable so i picked it up i got um grace coconut milk powder for well, just in case i need to make something that needs coconut milk Next, I got my absolute fave, some chocolate almond milk. I eat my oatmeal with this almost every day. I will switch it up and this is the Naturally, the Naturally Almond brand. Love this. I got some green peppers. I got some pimentos. I got some bread because I usually just buy a bread and when I go to the grocery, sometimes I eat it, sometimes it's wasted, unfortunately, but yeah, bread. I got some dull pineapple slices and heavy syrup. Sometimes I just need pineapples for something, so there we go. I got some carrots from the brand Marco's Farm. Alright, and I like to pick up carrots that have like five in a pack because I feel like I'm getting such a good deal. You know, usually carrots will come in three big ones. I like to get like five carrots that are like almost the same size. Yeah. Alright, then I picked up my absolute fave. Um, it's the Swiss Miss dark chocolate flavor, hot chocolate. I absolutely love this flavor of hot chocolate. For the rare time that I drink tea or chocolate tea, and then I grab some snacks. I grab a couple of bongo chocolate flavor. I grab my absolute fave ping pong with jumbo pack. I got two vitamalt, classic flavor. Love me some vitamalt. No, I usually buy. Bertie's pepper sauce 
and I was really heartbroken to see that they didn't have my favorite pepper sauce at the grocery. So I had to opt for this one. This is Baker's Tasty Lime Pepper Sauce. So it uses sandwiches, all meat, seafood, soups, and vegetables. I hope this pleases because I eat a lot of pepper sauce all of the time and yeah, I can make my own but I mean, I like good things. <laughs> Next, I got the last Brunswick chunk tuna in water. I searched and searched and searched looking for chunk tuna in water. If I don't buy Brunswick, I usually buy. What's it I'll pop the name on the screen. I can't bring it right now. But yeah, and none of them had any chunk tuna in water. They all had it in oil. And I paraded that shelf until I looked at the top and saw one tin. Let me make sure the app did not expire. 2023. So I got the last ten, and I was choking me like saying because this was still to the back on the shelf, and I was choking me saying, "I wonder if this is the last chunk too now." And it was. I was so excited. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. All right. I got some garlic. I must say, some of their fresh produce wasn't as fresh. So I did get garlic and uh, had to ask my sister to run back and change it because it was basically rotten on the bottom, right? And some of the fresh produce I wasn't too pleased about. Like they had an odor or you know how when fresh produce not that fresh. Um, so yeah, some of the stuff that I usually purchase I didn't and I would use that delivery person that Gabby used in her video to see the quality of stuff that I get because I absolutely loved the quality of stuff that she got. So I'll try that person out and see how it goes. Alright and my last bag of items I got my I got the Cook's Meat Quick Oats. Huge bag because I eat a lot of oatmeal. I got my absolute favorite flavor of tortillas, holidays tortillas. This is the barbecue flavor. I love these tortillas so much. Like, usually my favorite was the spicy one, but if you haven't tried this, mm -mm, you need to get on it. I got a Bermuda's chocolate fudge nibbles. Alright, then I got um, some other snacks. This is more of the chocolate mango. I got a lunch. I got three cocoa crisps because I didn't see any on the snack shelf and I was walking the aisles by the cashers looking for this. This is my absolute favorite snack. And uh, I, the cashier we were going by, there was a couple on the end of the cash register on the rack and I had to grab three. So yeah. I grabbed this cookie. This is a Maryland cookies in chocolate chip and hazelnut flavor. This is them here. Never tried this before, but I'll give it a go. And then I got me some kettle corn. So in my Tobago video, I am my sister we were watching a movie and she popped some popcorn and it was kettle corn and i was like no i don't want popcorn but when i tasted it i was like oh my, i really like this so i got some to try using gabby's method you know open any pack and pop it in a pan like regular popcorn <clears throat> exciting stuff and then i got one butter lovers 
I don't really care for the bottle, but the kettle corn. Okay, and the next item I got, I am accustomed by what's the name of that cereal? My brain isn't working today. Okay. Um but great gains. Is it great gains? I can't remember. But I saw this and I was like, hmm. Let me try and give this a go. It's Kellogg's complete right and it's all in spanish i did not realize that um but from the picture i saw that well they have like a cone face it's honey and they are like some brown sticks and almond shredded almonds in there yeah Okay, so the back here says corn, oats, and rice mix of grains as energy source. Honey gives us a slightly sweet taste, wheat bran fiber. So I'll give this a try and see if I like it. And if not, I'll revert it back to my favorite cereal. All right, so next I saw in Mary B's grocery haul, she got some of these. It's just juice. These juice at super quality and it's like how much i can't remember the amount she got for 20 dollars i was like wait what so i saw these shoes at the grocery and the regular size like a normal water bottle that was bigger than this was like 2.95 but like wait what and this size was 5.95 So I decided to try a couple of different flavors. So this is the orange, this is the grape, and I got two apple flavors. So I will be trying these to see what gives because I like the price. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, next I got my Swiss creamy peanut butter usually I buy it crunchy because I use this to eat in my oatmeal and last time I went to Massey Massey had zero creamy or crunchy Swiss peanut butter which broke my heart they had this really healthy one that has no taste I still use it but I miss my normal one so I got the creamy because it didn't have crunchy but it's better than the one that I have right now. <laughs> okay, next I got some dishwashing liquid and this is from Quix. My absolute fave. I love to get this one because it lasts really long due to how thick it is. Like the rate that falls on the sponge, you can't waste it. You cannot waste this. So I love getting this dishwashing liquid. And almost last but not least, I got um, Suavitel. Now, usually I get the blue, but they didn't have any blue. So I grabbed this yellow one, which smells pretty okay. So I guess this is a little change up for me. So, yeah. All right, and I almost forgot, I got these three cases of blue waters. Usually I get the 500 ml or the 600 ml, but they only had these small bottles. These are the, I can't see which size is on the pack, but yeah, I got those i'm not too pleased about these little bottles of water because they'll finish very quickly but this is what we're working with oh it's the 410 ml all right and some other stuff i forgot that i already packed away in a fur with the waiter i got some cheese some anka cheese this is the new zealand cheddar cheese 
I got my one your plate yogurt. Usually when I go to the grocery, I just buy one your plate yogurt because I don't really like yogurt that much. So I just get one just to eat whenever. This is the pina colada flavor. And the pina colada is my favorite drink. So yeah. All right, I got a crate of eggs from Fresh Eggs and it says A grade and last but not least I got um, a blue band creamy butter this is it here and that's it that's the end of my haul Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all that wonderful jazz. See you in the next one guys. Bye.